Hey everybody, so I had briefly mentioned in one of my TTC vlogs that I was going to do a first impression of the Clear Blue Advanced Digital Test because this was my first cycle that, or this past cycle was my first cycle that I had ever used a digital ovulation test. And um, so I'm in my 28th cycle now and so one out of 27 I've actually used the digital tests and I didn't want to do a complete review just yet because I've only used them for one cycle and I was very unsuccessful both with these and the cycle. I'm in my next cycle now so I still have quite a few left here in the box. I've got I've got three I got about 11 of the strips left and so this cycle I am going to use them and I just wanted to kind of give everybody my first impression of them for those of you that have been considering using them out then I think if I continue to use these I can do like a full review for everyone but I don't want to pretend like I know a lot about these because I don't I just kind of wanted to give my initial impression and unfortunately my initial impression of these was very naive you I mean I would think that I would have known, you know, I I don't know what words I'm looking for right now, but basically I've been using the OPK test strips, whether they're the Wandfo or whatever from Amazon or the Answer ones or the First Response ones or the Dollar Tree New Choice ones. I have just been using the line progression method with my OPKs. And I have been doing that like since the beginning of starting to try you know 28 cycles ago so um <clears throat> the main reason why I have never used these is for the price um I felt like these were going to be much easier and idiot proof and who could go wrong with these but hey I'm smart enough to use the line progression I know what to look for I've done enough research I don't need to spend all this extra money on these tests when I can just do the line progression and get the same end result. <sighs> I was a little wrong. These are not as easy to use as they make it look. I mean, even the reviews that I have seen on these, the videos of the ladies that I follow that are TTCing, they make it look, e I guess, I don't get to see the behind the scenes. I don't get to see what leads up to what they are filming because I always just thought that you would start on your typical day that you'd start taking OPKs in your cycle, which for me was cycle day 10. And that's because I usually ovulate between cycle day 10 and 16. And so using the line progression OPKs, I take one if there isn't a second line then I'll wait a day I'll take another one and then once I start to get that second line that's when I start testing twice a day or every 12 hours until I get my my peak till I get my uh positive so I thought I don't know why I thought that this little thing would just automatically know everything about me and my body I thought put the little strip in it and I'm gonna pee on it and it's going to say, you're ovulating or you're not ovulating, end of story. And I thought that I could start on cycle day 10, like I do with a line progression. Not the case. So, I still have a lot to learn with these. I'm thinking, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the idea of it is that you start very early because... I, I looked in here, and you get the little chart of when to start testing. And I kind of ignored it at first because I'm like, I always start on cycle day 10, so that's when I'll start taking these, no. They want you to start like significantly earlier than you would with your line progression. That's because I'm thinking you kind of have to train the test into what's going on with your body because what I didn't think of was that just because I'm having a peak, this little machine does not know that it is my peak because it doesn't know what I, my LH levels were like yesterday or the day before or the day before that. So they want you to start very early in your cycle so that it can know that you are actually going from low to high. And so with me, I've been having anywhere between 26 and 28 day cycles 
And for that, they want me to start on cycle day seven. So seven days into my cycle, they want me to start using these. Which now that I know what I know makes completely, makes, makes sense. But now that I know this, it kind of deters me from these tests because it was $40 for 20 tests. And so I start taking a test on cycle day seven. If I don't ovulate till cycle day 16, nine days at a minimum of nine tests that I'm going to be using from this, from this box. And they're saying that 20 of them is a two month supply. And once I get to my high fertility, wouldn't I be taking two tests a day like I would with my OPKs? I don't know. This is just my first impression of it. I feel like I've got a lot to learn, which at this point in trying to conceive is not exciting to me because I am, it's, it's not any fun anymore, guys. It really is not. When you're 28, 29 cycles in, it's not fun anymore. You want things to be as easy as possible. And for me to have to relearn how to find my peak, that's going to be wasting time for me. Like, I wasted this last cycle because I wasn't using the line progression test, and I have no clue when I ovulated. I have not a clue. I can go and look at my little app, and it has a prediction of when I ovulated, but... I completely missed it because I was trying to figure these out. So my plan for this cycle coming up, I am cycle day five now. I'm going to go out and buy a pack of the regular OPKs, the line progression, non-digital OPKs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to start taking those and these on cycle day seven, just like it tells me to. I'm going to do the two tests every day. And I'm going to watch what this tells me versus what my line progression OPK tells me. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I will, um, like I said, start in a few days using these again and using the line progression. And I want to be able to compare these to see how accurate really is going. It really is compared to the line progression and see if I can kind of get the hang of these because... All in all, when you think about it, if you know how to use it and you know what you're doing, then I can see how it would be much simpler than using the line progression because it really is kind of like a no-brainer answer. You get, you know, low, high, and peak. And peak means you're at your peak of your LH level. So, which would translate into a positive OPK, right? I don't know. So, I'll keep everyone updated. Um, like I said, I don't know where I'm going to go from here if I'm going to continue to purchase these or not. This is just my first impression. Um, if you have any tips for me, leave them down below. If you have any questions for me, I may or may not be able to answer, the, answer them, but leave those down below too. And give this a thumbs up if you want to hear some more first impressions on different TTC products. And thank you so much for watching.